YouTube! Que pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today I would like to share with you one thing that you shouldn't miss out on every week after reset. Now what's reset? Reset is every Sunday at a certain time well, where I'm living here in Germany. Reset is at um, 17 o'clock, um, 17 p.m. and or 5 p.m depending on how you want to want to say it and um, that's basically the time where the new weekly hard events start over and that's also where brave battle um, stops till till uh, a couple of hours later where you can start doing brave battles again and so forth and the same with guild quest now weekly reset is also the reset that resets all the orders now i mean with all the orders all your um all your weekly orders which are these ones these ones you can finish once a week each and they reset after like it says you after six days so on the next sunday now the first thing you should really do every time reset happens because i get that asked quite a lot Zimbos, how do you get that many materials to max transcend all your units? Like, what do you do? What is your what is your secret? Now, my secret or what really everybody else is doing and what you should be doing is every week reset happens. You go over to your inventory, first of all. Head over to your inventory. And then go over to character, character materials. And then you go right down here and you check what do I actually need? from these scrolls and these scrolls are the ones that will help you being uh, able to make sure send your units now once you've checked that you go over back to quests then events right then you head over to difficult quests and there you have your weekly um scroll farming opportunities and this is so crucial that you do this every week because that is a way of accumulating a lot of scrolls over time being able to max transcend literally anything. And that is really like one thing everybody else needs to do in order uh, to be able to max transcend your units. Not only max transcending your units, like it is so important to increase, for example, the character you're using. Say, for example, you have seventh anniversary Ichigo, you want to make him your main character and use him for everything. You got to be able to level up that if you have him say one or five you gotta be able to level his sp slot to level 10 so he's dishing out more damage and then after that you gotta be able to work on his links because the secret of making a character stronger truly is on giving him strong links now how do you strengthen your links not by putting up their transcend uh, their 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 link slots no rather than you should be leveling up their transcendence too now if you give an ichigo for example seventh anniversary ichigo let's just, let's just go to uh to edit and let me show you what i mean now let's filter um character type so let's for example say let's for example let's do it like this say for example um you want to be given each go um, this Eisen, or let's let's say you want to be given each go is his mind. Let's say, just just for the sake of this video, you want to give him this character, yeah, frenzy each go, whatever. If you want to give him frenzy each go, he's not going to get much bonus off it, yeah, because yeah, he has uh, strong attack damage plus sixteen percent increase. However. His, um, his, his, his transcendent slots are only at level 1. So he's basically not getting much SP boost from this character being his, his, his link slotted unit. Now what you want to be doing is really leveling up these to the maximum. And once you've leveled them up to the maximum, equip them to a character. And that's how you basically increase the power output of a character. Like for example, my eyes in here. Um, he has for his links. Why did I press that? 
Right, there we are. He has basically for his links a max run standard sergeant. And this sergeant is giving, our, giving him a huge power boost, which makes him in turn even stronger. If I give him instead of sergeant a level 1 uh, attack uh, slot unit with, with low uh, attack, that's not increasing him. And uh, that's not pushing him much, that's not giving him much bonus. And that is why it's very crucial to level up your link slots. And also your main unit slots, I mean these ones here. And that is basically why you need to be farming every week. Once you have the opportunity to get your hands on any scrolls in this game, trust me, don't miss out that opportunity. Like get your hands on the scrolls because you will need them in the end game. Like in the beginning where everything's really actually easy, it's not that important. But in the in the end game, that's that's truly where you're going to be having the most of the fun with the game because there is no more much to get. You know, you have almost all the characters, you have most of your characters 5 or 5, and you finished every game mode. What you really be doing is Epic Raids, Chronicle Quest, PvP, Brave Battles Arena, you're farming Corp, IT, IZ, and stuff. Those are, the, those are the things you really want to be doing, Guild Quest and stuff. And apart from that, from the from the gathering aspect, uh, from the from the collection aspect, uh, you want to be able to max out most of your units, and you want to be able to spend materials on literally any unit. And that's why start now, and for everybody that's already at this stage, or always do this first thing in a week. That's what I always do every week first. I always farm these scroll quests in order for me to collect them, and then use them on other characters. And that's basically all there is to it. There is no big secret. Obviously, you get these scrolls from other sources. Um, one of them being um, you get them through the metal exchange or from PvP Brave Birds. You get scrolls from Epic Raids. You get, obviously, your monthly scrolls from Chronicle Quest, which is why it's very important to farm Chronicle Quests. Um, then you get scrolls. You, well, you used to be able to get scrolls from Arena. However, Caleb uh, made a made a lid on that, and they said, "Nah, we're not giving out any more essence essence scrolls, which actually sucks." Um, but yeah, the, the rewards used to be better in arena than they are now, but it is what it is. And yeah, that's that's basically it. And you from Extreme Corp, obviously, Extreme Corp gives you every time it comes a lot of scrolls that you can buy, so that's very important as well. And I think that was it. That, those were actually all the sources where you get most of your scrolls and obviously once you hit 3 million points on any point event you get also one essence scroll at least and you get a few small scrolls here and there but nothing really out of the ordinary or worth mentioning and that's basically all there is to it like there isn't there isn't any tricks unfortunately like you can't really spend money to buy these um essence uh, to to buy these um, upgrade scrolls otherwise trust me I probably would have bought a few of them by now but yeah that's basically it and i hope this was helpful to some of y'all that are asking me uh frequently how do you get those materials because that's basically it like there isn't no hidden formula to get them it's just grinding 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 and even more grinding and with that i'm going to conclude the video thanks for joining me again don't forget to smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time